Hey guys, World's Playground here. Today I want to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to jailbreak the iPhone 3G 2.2.1, the iPhone first generation 2.2.1, and the iPod Touch um, first generation 2.2.1 firmware. Um, if you don't have 2.2.1 firmware, you can just easily go to iTunes and click check for update, and then it will automatically update it to 2.2.1, seeing as how that's the newest version. Now, um, as you can see there, I do have installer Insidia. And um, my version is 2.2.1, which I'll go ahead and show you really quick here. About. And there you go. 2.2.1, 5H11. Now, um, go ahead and follow the steps on how to jailbreak your Apple device. Alright guys, if you want to make your way over to my description, I have two links to two websites. Alright? The first one is the QuickPoons website, where you'll go to download the QuickPoon program, which you'll use to jailbreak the iPod Touch first generation, or the um, iPhone 3G, or the original iPhone. Now, as you can see there, it says download QuickPoon 2.2.5 Windows. You can choose Mac as well. All right. Now, um, also click my other link to the video there that directs you to the Felix Bruns website. Um, this is where you will go to download your firmware. Um, if you do not want to download the firmware from here, if you've already done so on iTunes, you don't need to do this step. But um, if you have not downloaded the correct firmware using iTunes, you're going to need to. Um, because the QuickPoons program actually searches your computer for the firmware 2.2.1. And if you've downloaded from iTunes, you do not need to do this step. But if you have not done so, you need to do this. All right. So anyway, make your way over to QuickPoon, download the correct QuickPoon, and um, once you guys are done downloading all of your uh, programs, you'll they'll show up on your desktop if that's where you save them. All right. Now you have QuickPoon here. I'm going to ahead and right click and go to Extract Files. All right. So I'm going to ahead and go ahead and extract. All right. Now a new folder popped up. I want to bring that over. I'm going to put my other non-extracted file into the recycling bin. All right, now open up your QuickPoon folder and um, open up QuickPoon. Well, I'll drag it to my desktop. And now I'll put that into the recycling bin. All right, so open up QuickPoon. But you got to make sure that your iPod or iPhone is plugged in. Now, usually the first time you open up QuickPoon, it doesn't work correctly because you have to allow a bunch of programs and stuff, and QuickPoon doesn't open properly. So, um, as you can see, the little arrow in the bottom right hand corner of the quick poon should be illuminated. However, it isn't. So, I want to unplug and plug in my uh, iPhone and see if it recognizes it. Alright, there, iTunes pops up. Quit. And no, it is still not illuminated. Alright, so now I'm just going to exit out and open up quick poon once more. All right, and as you can see, it worked properly. The blue arrow is illuminated. Go ahead and click it. And this is where it searches your computer for the correct firmware. Now, like I said, if you've already downloaded it from iTunes, it will work fine. But if not, you just go to Browse. And then you'll go to wherever you saved the, the, the firmware to. And then you open it up. And then it will determine whether or not it is the correct firmware. Then click the blue arrow in the bottom right-hand corner. Now you choose whether you want City and Installer. And I want to replace my boot logos. That's when you are turning on and off your iPod. Normally when you see that Apple, well, now it's going to be a custom boot logo. Now, all you got to do is follow the instructions given on this window. All right? So first off, it's going to ask you to hold down the home button for five seconds. And it's going to tell you when you need to do so. Like right now, it says to hold down the home button for five seconds, so I am. Now it says to hold down the home and power button for ten seconds. So I'm going to do that. And now it says to release the power button and continue to hold down the home button for 30 seconds. Even though this step only takes about 10 seconds, it still, for some reason, says 30. Alright, so now you can see that I finished all the steps correctly because that green progress bar has start, started to commence its progressness. Anyway, so as long as you follow those instructions on the quick poon, you're all good. Um, now I'm going to quickly show you on my my phone that it's finished. But um, 
Alright guys, so after you're done pressing all the buttons on your phone or iPod, uh, it should look like this. Oh, well, you just missed it, but it was saying downloading jailbreak data. Now, you can actually even unplug your USB cable, because now it already has the data onto the device, it's just installing it. So as you can see, it says flashing NOR, N-O-R. And then it just goes through a quick process on the device itself. Um, uh, you know, it's just going to be putting in all the actual uh, programs from the jailbreak into it at the moment. Um, so, uh, actually I should probably keep it in, I had low battery. But um, anyway, that's how you jailbreak the iPhone or iPod Touch 2.2.1. And like I said, I'm going to be making a video on how to jailbreak the iPod Touch second generation. So uh, thanks for watching and please stay tuned for um, further information on what you should do after the jailbreak on the iPhone 3G. Um, actually, I'm going to be doing a video right after this on how to get um, some important sources and some fun apps. Alright, so thanks for watching and um, don't forget to subscribe.